Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. ODM rebels who were recently expelled from the party have threatened to go to court to stop their expulsion. And Kenyans have been having varied opinions on the whole exercise of expelling these members of parliament. Before we listen to a very interesting Kenyan, let me say this. The expulsion of the rebels is the best thing ODM has so far done. In fact, if I was in a position to advise the ODM party, I would tell them to expel more. They should have no mercy on any leader who has shown signs of working with William Ruto's government. Because it's a fact, they are working with William Ruto not because of development, but for their own personal gains and interests. It's got nothing totally to do with the people. And I'm saying that because as an elected leader, you should consult your people before making such a major decision. They just decided to join William Ruto's team. While when they were campaigning, they lied to the people that they were in as a meal. Listen to this Kenyan before we continue. Niliwaambia kama kuna mtu mukarimu ni the enigma wa mbo baba Raila Amolo Odinga. Huyu mzee ameangalia wanachama wake ambao waliendea maendeleo state house. Akaona hataki kuwachanganya na maneno ya chama. Eh? Ameamua kuwa release kutoka kwa chama ndio wa concentrate na maendeleo. Wengine mumeanza vitina ho oh, ODM inataka kufukuza uh, wanachama wake eti juu waliendea maendeleo state house. Ah ah. Raila ataki mchanganye maendeleo na maneno ya chama kwa sababu chama saa zingine inaweza kukupoteza. Eh? Ndiyo ameona sasa awarilisi kutoka kwa chama muingie mutafute maendeleo state house. State house nayo iko na chama yake. Kwanza hata muingie kwa chama ya state house direct ndio maendeleo ikuje kwa laini ya chama ya state house. Eh? Watu wenye mnasema sijui eti wao oh, wamefukuzwa a ah, ah, tumia term release. Eh? release it is a, a, a good term hmm? it is more polite to say release eh hakuna mtu amefukuzwa ODM eh na hata mtu akifukuzwa ODM si mwenye anakufukuza inamaanisha huyo ni mwenyewe eh hata wewe ukienda kwa mwenyewe lazima ufuate masharti ya mwenye nyumba eh wewe uwezi simama ndani ya nyumba ya wenyewe eh ukisifu Ukisifu vile nyumba ingine yenye iko nje ni mzuri. Hapana. Hata kama ni mimi nitakuambia utoke pole pole uingie kwa hiyo nyumba ambayo umependezwa nayo. Ni madhara wengine tunawabeba kwa gari tunajua gari zetu ni ndogo. Eh? Lakini tu, u, unaendaka uki, ukisifu Mercedes kwa barabara. Ukisema vile hiyo BMW imetupita ni kama sisi tumesimama. Eh? Unaenda ukisema vile haka kagari Kenya uko ndani ni kadogo hata uwezi pumua. Hivi ndio wanachama wa ODM wamefanya. Sasa ndio tumetaka wa, watoke waingie UDA sisi kama wapiga kura tuwapigie kura nyingi kwa sababu tumeona wanapenda maendeleo. Kwa sababu state house ndio maendeleo inapatikana. Eh? Ndio tuwapigie kura nyingi, nyingi zote kabisa. Tunawangoja asubuhi tuwarudishe. Watuletee mabarabara, watuletee mashule, watuletee na eh? <laughs> Munaona? Sasa ni ku release Iyo ingine munaongea ni vitina. Sasa, kuna mweshimiwa wetu kama mimi mupiga kura walangata, ni nangoja mweshimiwa wetu wakuja. Sisi tuliangalia track record yake wakati tulimuchagua. Atu kuangalia chama, si munajua vila alikuwa mifanya kazi mzuli. Langata. Eh? Kwa hivyo atu kuangalia iti sasa ni yote ya mtu mupigie kura. Eh? Sisi tuliangalia yale maendele alikuwa metufanyia langata. Ndiyo mana tunamungoja na chaba ya state house, tumupe kura hata nyingi zaidi kwa sabu tumeona na peda maendeleo. B- munaona? Yeah. Let me tell you Maina 
Hata Raila akifukuza mtu kuto, kila mtu kutoka ODM. Tubaki mimi na yeye eh na Aida. Hata akifukuza Winnie Odinga. Mimi na Aida na mzee mwenyewe. E, Afadhali tubaki ODM. Eh? Lazima sisi tutabaki ODM. Mtu yenye furahi vile ODM ukiona haina maendeleo. Na maendeleo inapatikana state house. You are just released you go. Na babu alituonya kuna kijana ambaye ni msaliti. Huyu kijana huyu ni msaliti. Nikusikia tu sikiangi. Mimi siko anajua eti babu ni mwerevu na pia anaweza ona vitu kwa umbali. Hiyo nayo siko anajua. Hm? Na tulikatazwa nikusikia tu kusikia. Sasa turudi tukupigie kura. Eh? Kama wewe ni mwanaume rudi Kisumu pigiwa kura bila kukoa na ODM. Tukoa wapi? Eh? Rabishi. Yes. Those are some of the reactions Kenyans have about the whole exercise of expelling the rebels. And uh, that's a very creative Kenyan who is just trying to be sarcastic of this leader saying they must work with the government for development. It should actually be the vice versa because the budget is being allocated in the National Assembly. Is these leaders who are actually even allocating state house the funds? Yes. So these are just two democrats who are just in politics to make money. And if at all they think that working with the government is the best option that will enable them take development to their people, nothing stops them from resigning. Let all these politicians, the Alang and the rest, let them just resign and contest or rather seek a fresh mandate through the government's party, rather through Ruto's party. If they think they must work with the government for development, let them just resign and seek a fresh mandate using Ruto's party. And also, if they strongly believe that they're doing what the people actually want, then I don't, I find it, I just don't understand why they don't want to resign. Because after all, they are doing what the people want them to do, to bring development. Why can't they just resign and seek a fresh mandate? These are just hypocrites, tumbocrats, individuals who are in politics to make money. And from where I sit, I'm seeing a hoping majority, if not all of them, going home because they lied to the people and upon using the people to get in power, they have actually betrayed the people. And even if you look at Jalango, it's a fact that if it was not because of ODM, Jalango could have not won Langata parliamentary seat. Jalango is today a member of parliament simply because he contested through the ODM party. And now he's talking about development. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. And to our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you, God bless Kenya. Any other person who may want to support our forum, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you. Hiyo anakuja kusema tumeteremsha bei ya mbolea kutoka shilingi 6000 kwa gunia sasa limekuja 2500. 
Hiyo mbolea wamepewa bure na serikali ya Urusi. Wagawanye kwa wakulima bure. Alafu anakuja anauza kwa shilingi 2500. Hiyo 2500 naenda wapi? Nani na wamepewa bure. Tani na 34 wakaongeza mchanga ndani yake imefika sasa 1000. Alafu anakuja hapa anasema sasa balea nimerudisha bei chini. Unasikia hiyo? Si anakudanganya? Upuzi kabisa hiyo, sio? Si ushenzi hiyo.